good morning vlog. We have moved out of the Airbnb in Banff, said goodbye to the mountains. My sister's just coming over because we're returning uh, the rental car and we're about to head to Calgary Airport again. Here's Lydia. She's booking an Uber now to the airport with all our stuff. Do you think we'll be all right in a normal size? We've made it to Calgary Airport. It's a lot bigger than Hamilton Airport. Still want to try our Tim Hortons. I feel like I can't visit Canada and not have a Tim Hortons. So that might be what we do for lunch once we're through security checks. Our plane is delayed, but we are waiting to board. I'm very excited because I've been given a window seat. Very exciting. I haven't had a window seat yet on any of my flights. Lydia, thank you. So excited. What was your favorite part about Bath? Sulphur Mountain. Sulphur Mountain. I'd have to agree. Like the first day was the best day. The other days were good too. Yeah, we, 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 we saw a lot, we hiked a lot, but Sulphur Mountain, I felt like I'd achieved the most after it. I think because it was we went up the mountain. I don't know what our elevation gain was. I'll have to look that up. But it was quite a tall mountain and we went on this switchback trail. I only fell over five times, so I'm she, not. She's bought some shoes now. Lydia didn't quite get the right footwear. She's learnt that you need hiking boots yes. for hiking. Yeah, I've learnt the hard way. Let's play a game of which flight is ours. Take your guess in the comment section below. Which flight are we hopping on? Lydia has a lot of uh, clothes with her, so she is trying to sneak an extra jacket onto the flight. I jumped on before as well, but that was a bit too hot. <laughs> Two winter coats here. <laughs> Where are we, sis? Tell the vlog where we've come to. We're in Vancouver. Ooh. And what are we doing in Vancouver? Meeting our parents. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Good morning everyone, we're outside a cycle shop and we're about to go on a cycle tour around Vancouver. Five hours. Five hours Five long. Hours. With a lunch break. Let's go. through the cycle tour and now walking around a marketplace at Granville Island which apparently is the second most popular place to visit in Canada after Niagara Falls so I've been doing all the hot spots this trip. Oh for you that is my sort of thing. Look at that Basically, was for the World's Fair we had here in six in eighty six. Hello, vlog. We have got back in from our cycle tour. I'm just warming up because it started pouring with rain quite a bit in the second half of the cycle tour. It was a lot nicer before it was raining, but I have heard people call it Raincouver. I understand the reason. The weather forecast for basically the full time I'm here is rain, but it's fine. I have to say, it was still pretty. Still enjoyed it and we are now just taking some time to chill. And I'm very happy though, because I did make a purchase. So this is what I bought from Granville Island. It's a leather purse pouch thing that I'm probably gonna keep my cards in. I've been wanting a new one for a while. And also I just felt like it embodied my Canada trip, you know, with a grizzly bear being out to the mountains. Didn't encounter any grizzly bears, but they were there somewhere. And now after we've warmed up, I'm hoping that we're gonna meet up with someone who I used to go to uni with, who is currently out in Vancouver doing a PhD and has very kindly offered to give us a campus tour. So we might meet up with her shortly. We have just 
just eaten out, had a burger at Browns, is it called? Like a bar, bistro on the UBC campus, which we just had a tour of from Cara, who I studied at Cambridge with. Here's Peeps, there's my mum, my dad and my sister. We're just discussing what we're going to do for the next few days. I'm obviously only here Wednesday, Thursday and like Friday morning now. It's raining pretty much the entire time. But we'll find something fun to do. There's a few museums. We've been given lots of recommendations. So we're just going to go explore. Oh, there's a lion. That it's built, it's it's takes off to the um, San Francisco uh, Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. basically San Francisco. Oh my <laughs> this is the Lionsgate Bridge vlog. Look this way, look this way, look this way. Are you quite excited? Oh, this is so fantastic. Love the view. We are in the car and we're on the way to North Vancouver, is that right? Yep. To see the Capilano suspension bridge. bridge. Suspension bridge. The rain has held off today so far. Probably start raining when we get there. Probably as soon as we get out of the car it's gonna start raining. Don't but... worry, we're in as you can see pages in code. I've got <laughs> a lot of layers on today. Wobbly? From the Capilano River flowing below us. It's a bit wobbly, feels a little bit like I'm drunk. suspension bridge behind us. It's a long way down. We're the other side of the water from where we were yesterday at Lonsdale Quay. Heading into the market behind to get some food. It is lunchtime. Quite fancy a latte. So yesterday we were by that cruise liner apparently. And then if we pan around a little bit, we've got some trees over there and that's Stanley Park, right? Yeah, that's Stanley Park. Stanley Park is a, the second largest park in North America, second to Central Park, according to our tour guide yesterday. And that's over there where the liner is, it's Canada Place. And that all... Uh, Canada Place, somewhere in over here. In the Expo 1986. And we just ate lunch in there. Do, do you want to get the, um, the water bus that we haven't got? Oh, apparently you can get this water bus across, but we didn't. We drove over because we were going over to the Capilano Bridge, but there's an option there, taking you back over to central Vancouver. Given the weather today, we've decided to come to the beach. Uh, <laughs> such a lovely day. Here's Lydia. Oh, she looks just so warm sitting here. How's the sunbathing going today? Very good. Really good. Go yeah, jokes aside, beautiful view. Got the mountains. Oh, it's Locarno Beach. This is called Locarno Beach. Is that downtown over there? Downtown Vancouver, over there. Downtown being where all the off. What, what defines downtown? 
the business district. The business district. Good morning. We are at the ferry terminal waiting to board a ferry. Had a bit of a disaster this morning in that we reserved places on the ferry, going over in the car, and we've arrived like five minutes late and they said, right, you've got to go in the standby lane. So we might not actually get on this next ferry. Let's just keep our fingers crossed. If not, we might have to wait a bit longer. But yeah, we are getting a ferry over to Vancouver Island, which is huge much bigger than i thought it would be and we're in particular heading to victoria which is the main city on the island it's the capital of british columbia capital of the province the good news is it's supposed to be much lighter rain on vancouver island than it is in vancouver like hopefully it's only a little bit of drizzle rather than torrential rain the tour guide's got her maps she is ready to show us around she's got over the stress of slightly being a bit late for the ferry uh you know these things happen you have to adapt you you, you gotta go with the flow the ferry is an hour and a half long i i do sometimes get seasick i have to say so hopefully hopefully it's not gonna be too rough <laughs> good news is guys we made it onto the ferry we were very close to not getting on when we got on there was barely any space about five cars got on after us which is not very many compared to the amount of cars on the ferry so we are off to the island Okay, I think there's a bit of a confusion over where we're going, but we are in Victoria. We've made it, it was quite a long journey, hour and a half ferry, and then 40 minutes drive to the other end. I'm feeling quite tired and I'm really not sure why, because I've been getting quite a good night's sleep. But uh, hopefully I'll wake up, we're going to go get some coffee now, and then maybe find some indoor activities, because um, as you can see, the weather is not fantastic. Oh, we've got the countdown. <laughs> the famous tea grannies. Coffee, decaf coffee. Oh, burning my fingers. Coffee was good. We're now off outside back into the bay and we're going to go to the Parliament buildings, yeah? Yeah. Hood up, let's go. It says, Welcome to Victoria down there. And up here is where we're heading. These are the Parliament buildings. Got a little harbour going on here. Italian mosaic on the floor here and this reaches up 30.5 meters I think and this in the middle is a traditional inland river canoe got a little guide book here that we're using for a little self-guided tour of the Parliament buildings being beckoned the Hall of Honour. I dream of the day when the only running women do is for office, that my daughters will know a world where the only glass ceilings are in greenhouses. And look at all these powerful women. Queen Elizabeth II is the Queen of Canada. So a constitutional monarchy. Which means they basically do their own thing. But the British royal family is also the Canadian royal family. So the Parliament building is open for people to look around like we're doing now when Parliament isn't sitting. And apparently they're not sitting today. So they do run three guided tours as well, but they're 45 minutes long and the next one doesn't start until a little bit later. And we've got a 
fair bit to see around Victoria, so we've just come in and there's lots of stuff to read, but you can spend a little while in here looking around, I think. It's quite an impressive building. I'm coming, I'm vlogging. We're going up some stairs. Are you enjoying this one? Yeah, I'm We've just been in the legislative gallery and there were people debating. It wasn't a full house like this, but there were people sitting like in the main chamber and debating a new bill. And we could sit up in the gallery and watch one, which was interesting. They did take my phone and everything else off me. I don't know how they would have felt about me vlogging that. <laughs> Got some more totem poles going on here, carved by First Nation people. Go. Got some bluebells going on here. Got a bridge up there. Some colourful flowers over here. And a pond with some rain over here. This is a medieval bridge, everyone, in Beacon Hill Park. Well, it was constructed in 1889. Yeah, medieval, that's well, not really. It's not really medieval, is it? But it well, probably in the. Um, it's medieval style. Medieval style, yeah. Look, 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 look. Hello, squirrel. Come back. <laughs> a skunk. A skunk. <laughs> And now we are heading in here, the Empress Hotel, because apparently it has a great lobby that we should see. It's indoors, so my vote is yes, sounds good. In here. Now we're into like the conservatory area. Got a conference centre. I'm kind of ready for dinner. We're having an early dinner and then getting the ferry back to the mainland. We're driving back to the ferry terminal now, but on the way we're doing a bit of a car tour. We've stopped off at, what's it called, Mark? Cordova Bay. Cordova Bay. We've seen a deer in the front garden. We saw a few Bambies out and about in the area. Just to kill some time, because our ferry isn't until nine. And while we don't want to risk being late again and being put in the standby lane, we would be arriving there quite early. But I think we are now programming the sat-nav for the ferry terminal. I have found out a way to get my book on my phone on the kindle app so i'm gonna be able to read on the ferry back which i'm very pleased about mm, i know and then i will have a good night's sleep before my last day i fly home tomorrow evening we found another bambi bambi fast slowly wow oh, wow Oh, oh, it's seen us, it's seen us. Just pause here, pause here. Oh, no, I don't want them to come in. No. Oh, he thinks he's, is he going to be fed? He oh, thinks he's no. going to be fed. That's so tame. I just don't run away. No, I'm a bit worried he's going to... Hello. Come to Lydia's window. Hi, Bambi. What do you call a deer with no eyes? Okay. If you've got that one, and you've commented it down below. What do you call a deer with no eyes and no legs? I hope you're laughing with me. I spy some sunshine. Sun Kuva is finally here. 
on my last day. We're going down to the car, then the elevator. And the sun's come out because it's excited you're leaving. That's not very nice. I'm actually quite happy to be going home because it's going to be really sunny weather in the UK when I get back. And these guys are all going to be out here still in the rain. <laughs> wow! Look at no! Don't push me! Today we're in Queen Elizabeth Park, gonna have a wander around, lovely views of Vancouver there, conservatory dome to go in, a rose garden I think, the sun is peeking through the clouds right now, I think this will be... Sun Coover. Yeah, it's Sun Coover. over one of the gardens. Apparently it was a quarry and it was transformed into this garden and it is the highest point in Vancouver, right? Yeah. We found the real view guys, look at that. And everyone, I am off to the airport. It is the end of my two week trip to Canada and it has been fantastic. I feel like I've seen a lot. I've been to Ontario, I've been to Alberta, I've been to BC, three provinces. I've been through Toronto, been to Waterloo, been to Niagara Falls, I've been to Calgary, Banff. Oh, I went to Hamilton as well. And I've been to Vancouver, <laughs> obviously. It's been a fantastic trip. Thank you for following along. I've now got a nine hour, 20 minute flight back to England. Woohoo, we love that. I'm gonna arrive at 11.30 in the morning in England and probably be very sleep deprived, but we're gonna work through the jet lag. It's gonna be fine. Back to work next week, back to it. I've had a good break. I feel refreshed. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, Follow my Instagram where I've been posting lots of holiday photos and I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye bye!